lovely people it's happening T over tinobu's chicago state university certificate lawmakers move to regulate news on social media as they have started you know uh rulings first of all they start with readings right they bring a proposal about the uh so-called regulation then it goes through uh first reading second reading and and is adapted into law so with what is going on now and a lot of news being made on online with regards to tinubu you know uh, they are i mean they just have to do something to ensure that they minimize you know people hearing and this news traveling even further you know these are the days where they cannot continue to hide under a bush and cover up most of the things they do and so they are using their position to fight the very masses who elected them into offices how sad yes you heard me how sad please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe tinobu's chicago state university certificate over the certificate forgery lawmakers move to regulate media news to prevent nigerians from getting more information nigerian lawmakers are reportedly plotting to bring up a bill that will regulate news on social media, especially with the advent of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu's certificate forgery and the FBI, which has promised to start releasing what they have about Tinobu, 500 page documents each month starting from this one, October. The member representing Iwo south of the federal constituency of a boy state that's david my they are sponsoring this okay disclose this why reacting to a viral claim on social media over the alleged certificate forgery with regards to the chicago state university by president bola metinobo according to gaga the national assembly would soon adopt the bill and consequently sign it into law to regulate the spread of news on social media in Nigeria. If you are in Nigeria, you may not be able to get some of the news trending, especially if it has to do with the presidency and all relating to government. You may be getting filtered news. Lead Nigeria Landa Togala stated this while addressing journalists during the weekend in Abakaleke in Ebony State, the capital, saying, Members from our constituencies are the ones who are working with David Omai and others to ensure that they pass out this bill. We at the National, National Assembly will soon enact law to ensure we regulate news, especially control social media as it is, as it is in other countries. Nigeria is just a free zone entity, so people do as they choose. And that is to say that whatever people say or write, will be regulated this will this will reduce the news that will be sent to nigeria you don't sit in your room and post whatever you think and write and expect that you can just deface the presidency and from my own point of view these people calling for the resignation of the president are doing it out of hate they have no facts there is no fact to back what they are saying Atiku is just on a rat race because he's so bitter he did not win. They believe what is posted on social media. Hence, the hate concerning the president continue to spread. We have a constitution to protect and we will make sure that the people follow the regulation. The laws must be made. That's why we are lawmakers. They voted us into office to make sure that we regulate laws that we favor the people. This is one of such laws. Propagating wrong information about the president is not the way to go. Recall that candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubaka, out of spite, has gone all the way to check what Tinubu submitted to INEC and also go to another country, spreading falsehood about the nation. Why should we allow such to continue? What he's doing is not acceptable and we must do something about it immediately. We must save Nigeria from this. So these are lawmakers, okay? And he's saying it, he said people voted them into office and it's their duty to protect what the people are hearing so that um, people can understand that, you know, you cannot just talk about Tinubu and get away with it. 
eh, that uh, they are making sure social media that's why you can see that arise arise news oh yeah they don't blast and arise news i don't give and uh, they don't give and sanction say we say you you we are giving you last warning where is all this coming from they don't want the people to hear what is going on they want it covered but you've forgotten that it does not have to do with only nigeria the rest of the world are watching in fact, Tinubu's news was reported in the United Kingdom and uh, United States of America. Yes, the president of Nigeria, Nigerian news was reported in the United States of America. So why they are deceiving you here? People are hearing all things going on in other parts of the world. So they want to keep you in the cocoon, just like what happens in some parts of the, you know, some parts of the, uh, you know, uh, what's it called now? Those areas, China and the rest and some other countries, you know, Korea and the rest. You really don't want people to know what's going on. And you need to keep you in a very place where you, you take it or leave it is what we say you do. You don't have an opinion. You cannot search. And that is no fundamental human right. These very people that we have voted into office are the very set same people now that are fighting against the people. And according to what he rightly said, they voted him to, they voted them in to bring about regulations that will favor the people. However, they've left their core duty to protect a man irrespective of whether he's doing right or wrong, they don't care. The most important thing is they want to protect the man at all costs. Are we saying the man should not be protected? By all means, that's not what we are saying. No, no, no. That's not what we are saying. If the man is wrongly accused, he will be vindicated. I can assure you for free. If Tinubu is wrongly accused, he will be vindicated in no distance time. It doesn't matter what you do. But if he's not wrongly accused and Tinubu is the one who is wrongly accusing people, Abba, hey, he will be exposed and he will leave the place. So it is what it is. And so we must be very, very, we must very, very, you know, take it very seriously. We must become very, very serious in our approach to ensure that we do not allow these things. Okay. You know, uh, we do not allow these things again and again. We must be very, very honest. You see now. Uh -huh. So this is part of what is going on. And every single person can see. So let's wake up. Let's wake up. Let's ensure we do the right thing. There are people who do not want this country to move forward. There are people, and they are not missing words. They are not to. So they are bringing laws in order to favor Tinubu in respect of all Nigerian things. They can't be bothered. The most important thing is that they are protecting Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.